Well, you see that? There's something in the ether that actually does this. Hi, man, and welcome back to another ether physics. It's been a while, I haven't uploaded on ether physics in like months. That's because it's still a hobby of mine. It's one of the things that I'm interested in. And maybe you guys have seen that I've uploaded some other videos on this channel as well. That's because I have a lot of channels and I made something and didn't know where to put it, so I put it on this channel. And I changed the name of the channel. Instead of my own name, I changed it to Ether Life. I thought it would be a cool name. Today, I want to show you a trick that I've learned. Well, a couple of years ago, but I never told you guys this. All we need to do this trick, styrofoam. This here is classic styrofoam. Wow, that was loud, wasn't it? And you need to cut the styrofoam in, for instance, circle shape. You need a test tube. It's my test tube. And you need a neodymium magnet. The stronger, the better it is. This is an iron screwdriver. This is a neodymium magnet. See? Styrofoam, it's not magnetic. You see this test tube? It won't stick. A bucket of water. I don't know if you can see, but there's water here. If you put styrofoam on top of water and you blow, it moves very easy. Hello. As you can see when I'm talking, it's even enough to move it. I don't even have to blow or something. Almost as easy as air hockey. You don't need a lot of force to move something. We're gonna put the test tube in this piece of styrofoam. It's a weird word to say, man, styrofoam. Wow, I'm close. We call it piepschuim in Dutch. On top of the water, it moves very easy. As I've shown you before, it does not get attracted by a magnet. It's not like iron. When you use a magnet, on a small amount of water, it can be tap water, preferably distilled water. This is tap water. I wish I had distilled water, but I'm just gonna show you that it's really water in here. You put it back on your styrofoam, this test tube. You grab your magnet. This takes a lot of finesse and we're gonna push it away by not touching it. I'm trying to stay like a half a centimeter away from the test tube, never touching it. Well, and the closer you get, the faster it goes. touch it because of the water here small droplets well now I did touch it as you can see if I blow a little bit it gets a lot of velocity okay come on back to the center you should never use these magnets and just let them go because they would destroy themselves well what did I just do damn it I'm just saying you should never let go because look they're broken you see as you could see an interesting experiment you can do with your kids or just to impress someone else. Fun fact to know that water is anti-magnetic. Doesn't matter if you use the north or the south side of a magnet. It's all about holding the magnet close to water. Same principle applies to everything that's non-conductive. Maybe not everything, but most of the non-conductive substances on earth. For instance, like plastic or probably wood. Probably work on the styrofoam as well. I haven't tried that, I can try. It doesn't work as good as it, the test tube with water. I hope you guys learned something interesting today. I hope you didn't know this already. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. I'm an idiot. And I got water all over the place.